प्रतिनिधि खरे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक टुडे व्हिच इज पैटर्न्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर नाउ दिस इज अ लॉन्ग टॉपिक सो आई विल बी टेकिंग दिस इन पार्ट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द पैटर्न्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर सो कमिंग टू द पैटर्न्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर कैन वेरी इन अ नंबर ऑफ वेज इट इज दीज वेरियंसेस that differentiate one organization from the others some of the bases of the differentiation are presented here these are strong versus weak culture soft versus hard culture and formal versus informal culture organizational culture can be labeled as strong or weak based on sharedness of the core values among organizational members and the degree of commitment the members have to these core values the higher the sharedness and commitment the stronger the culture a strong culture increases the possibility of behavior consistency amongst its members while a weak culture opens avenues for each one of the members showing concerns unique to themselves next is soft versus hard culture soft work culture can emerge in an organization where the organization pursues multiple and conflicting goals in a soft culture the employees choose to pursue a few objectives which serve personal or sectional interests rather than focusing on organizational interests A typical example of soft culture can be found in a number of public sector organizations in India where the management feels constrained to take action against employees to maintain high productivity. The culture is welfare oriented. People are held accountable for their mistakes but are not rewarded for good performance. Consequently, the employees consider work to be less important than personal and social obligations now consider a case study by sinha sinha in 1990 has presented a case study of a public sector fertilizer company which was established in an industrially backward rural area to promote employment generation and industrial activity under pressure from local communities and the government the company succumbed to overstaffing converting mechanized operations into manual operations payment of overtime and poor discipline this resulted in huge financial losses almost up to 60% of the capital to the company so you see students what is the difference between soft and hard culture and last formal versus informal culture the work culture of an organization to a large extent is influenced by the formal components of organizational culture roles responsibilities accountability rules and regulations are components of formal culture they set the expectations that the organization has from every member and indicate the consequences if these expectations are not fulfilled informal culture on the other hand has tangible and intangible specific and non specific manifestations manifestations of shared values beliefs and assumptions this part of organizational culture comprising of artifacts symbols ceremonies rites and stories is highlighted in almost all the definitions of organizational culture and this has already been discussed in detail in one of the previous lectures so i hope the patterns of organizational culture are clear to you it is important to note that there is not just one type of organizational culture it is widely recognized by the academic literature that different organizations have distinctive cultures also there may be more than one culture within organizations 
So it is important to understand the different classifications and these I will be taking in the subsequent lectures. Thank you.